we are going all the way to the top, to the California Grill, the contemporary signature restaurant at the very top of the resort. We're going to be able to have gorgeous views of Magic Kingdom and also watch the sunset. I'm so excited. Let's go do this. Today is actually the first day the restaurant is open. That and also Chef Mickey's open today. So reservations went like that. How awesome is that to see the Magical Express dropping off resort guests? That just brings in good memories. To get up to the California Grill, you have to be escorted up on a private elevator shaft right here on the second floor of the Contemporary. Where are you check in? Right there. You can check in at the desk, or you can just do it from your My Disney Experience app, which I'm going to do, actually. Start check-in. One adult. And save. Once you're all checked in on the app, it'll actually turn green, and then you go up and show them, and they'll uh, escort you to an elevator and take you all the way up. Plenty of areas to sit down and wait until they call you for your reservation, and they do actually have the social distancing markers and some plexiglass where the actual check-in desk is at. Face masks are required until you actually get down and sat at your table, and also they have a strict dress code, which includes no hats. So once I get in the elevator, I'm going to have to take this baby off. And there we go. Now we're green. Elevators are for one party or four individuals. Thank you. <laughs> I guess it's uh, just me. All right, all right, perfect. Thanks. You'll step off. There'll be a podium right here. Have a great time. Thank you. Here we go. Up to the 15th floor. I'm not going to wait for them to ask me. I'm just taking the hat off now. And here we are. Hi. And it's a little bit bright in here because of the sun, but look at this view. Wow, I like it a lot. Like I said, I couldn't ask for a better view. I mean, that table of six is a really good view, but it's just me, so I still love it. Just staring out at Space Mountain and Magic Kingdom, and then eventually I'm going to actually go out there and get a real good look at it. I like that too because it's so close. The sun is really batting down on my eyes, but it's okay because I like it. And I actually got to sit right here, and some friends were right behind me. Look at this. Al with Florida Freaks and the road. Sorry. <laughs> I decided on getting myself a Bud Light. Oh, man. That's refreshing. Take a look at the menu. We have some hand-formed pepperoni pizza for $23. A lot of great appetizers, and of course, the sushi, very popular here at the California Grill. But what I went with was the oak-fired filet of beef. Comes with aged gouda mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts, oxtail marmalade, red wine, sweet onion au jus for $59. Instead, I substituted the rice for the mac and cheese because I don't like mac and cheese. Now the sun is actually going down a little bit, so we can get a little bit of a better view. We can see the castle right there, Space Mountain right there. We got some natural water right there. Overall, this is an amazing, relaxing environment. While we wait for our steak to come, I don't want to kind of like wander around the actual restaurant, so we're going to actually go outside. I put my face mask back on because that's a part of the uh, dress code is the face mask as you walk about the restaurant. And the first thing that I noticed when you come out is these actual social distancing markers right here. But would you just take a look at that? Man, what a beautiful view. This is why I love the California Grill. The Grand Floridian right there, the Polynesian right there. It's beautiful. It really is. Look at the ferry boat out on Bay Lake, or actually it's the Seven Seas Lagoon heading to Bay Lake. Oh man, this is great. Definitely going to come back out here once it gets a little bit darker after dinner itself because I just want to see Magic Kingdom all lit up. It will be my first time. Here's a great shot of all the workings of Magic Kingdom. 
can literally see Big Thunder Mountain, Magic Kingdom, Space Mountain. I can see Beauty and the Beast, Rapunzel's Tower, and even Tron. Oh man, so many great things. And actually, from this angle, the castle stands out a lot more now that it has that fresh paint job. We're going to head back in. We'll come back out once it gets a little bit darker. Hopefully, my steak didn't come out yet already. But if it did, it's probably still going to be amazing regardless. The steak didn't come out, but the bread service did. Look at that. I'm excited. That looks like a really good bread. Oh, yeah. I can just tell this bread is going to be phenomenal. so soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside and that just literally is some of the best oil I've ever had I just can't get over my view it is so beautiful isn't it and just like that our steak has arrived oh man this looks fantastic look at those brushel sprouts it smells phenomenal the rice looks really good too I, I don't know. I can't wait to dive into this. I just can't wait. I want to dive into it, but also look at that sunset. We're going to have to cut this bad boy open. You ready for this? Oh, look at that. I feel like the tinier the steak, the tinier the pieces you cut up because you want to enjoy every single bite. But here we go. It is phenomenal. Oh, wow. Literally just melts in your mouth. I know a lot of people say that about steaks, but this legit literally like dissolved in my mouth. The sun is definitely setting. Look at that. Just literally disappeared. It was just right there and now it's gone. I have to say though, eating the steak with the Brussels sprouts is like a whole new experience. These Brussels sprouts have taken the number one spot as my favorite Brussels sprouts. Before that, it was definitely the polite pig. But wow, I don't know if it's the red wine onion au jus that's maybe on them, but I just love it. It is literally so delicious. I tried so hard to film as much as I could as that steak, but literally, I just wanted to eat it so bad, so now it's gone. But all of this actual red uh, wine and onion au jus, I want to kind of get the rice and like kind of absorb it because that is delicious. One of the best steaks I've ever had. I think I just saw the lights turn on in the castle, so I'm going to head back outside. Whew. But another Bud Light has arrived. Did that all rhyme? Wow, take a look at that shot right there. The castle is starting to light up. Two monorails are about ready to cross each other. Big Thunder Mountain and Main Street is starting to light up as well. That's beautiful. It is amazing how much the lighting has changed in here. Since when we first walked in, we were blinded by the light. Now it's just really, really calming down the room.
now that I'm all done with dinner, I'm going to head out to the rear balcony and just kind of relax and hang out and stare at the Magic Kingdom just for a little bit. Right back here, this is where the restrooms usually are located. And on the other side is the rear balcony. The reason I like coming out here is because there's basically nobody back here. So you usually have the whole entire thing to yourself. Oh, and I'm happy that we came back here because we have a little bit of a lightning storm. Wow, that is really cool to see right now. You're looking over Bay Lake. This is the back side of the contemporary near Bay Lake Tower. And since there's nobody back here with me, the coordinators did say it was okay to take your mask off as long as you're practicing social distancing and there's nobody around. So I'm gonna like breathe it in a little bit and it's really cool back here watching that lightning happen. But what's in front of me is just as cool. Look at that fully lit up Magic Kingdom. Oh, and we can see some lightning happening over there too. I'm gonna zoom in on the castle from here because that's something I really wanna see. If you guys enjoyed watching the sunset from up here at California Grill, I actually made a video where I came up here and I recorded the sunrise, and it was probably one of my all-time favorite videos. It was literally one of the highlights of my life, and not too many people watched it. I'll make sure to link that video at the end of this video, because that is something outstanding to watch the sunrise from the top of the california grill it was like a once in a lifetime opportunity so make sure you check that video out as well look at that beauty and that's gonna do it for me hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it it was so great to be back here again tomorrow magic kingdom opens tomorrow is the 11th I don't know when I'm going to put this video out. Uh, I probably won't be at Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Uh, I didn't get any of the annual pass holder uh, reservations or actually any of the opening day reservations. So uh, I'll probably be back in the parks sometime this week. Anywho's, we'll see you next time. Bye.